Why would you not like a Disney Tigger mug? I don't know. This would be a mouthful of wine for us in this day and age, wouldn't it? I mean, oh, well, our modern wine glasses are like four times the size. But then the people on the stall shouted over and said, a pound each. And I thought, oh, a pound, oh, I can't leave it behind now. <laughs> everyone how are you so I've got a haul today um, this is from a couple of weeks ago when we went to a very big um, yard sale there were about 400 stalls which we didn't manage to get round but we did buy a heck of a lot and I've already shared a, a couple of videos worth of stuff but I've still got lots to show you and there's some really nice things here so I thought I would do a standalone haul and show you the rest of what I bought. So the first thing I have to show you is, you've guessed it, it's a jug. <laughs> I can't go anywhere without buying a jug. And this is a really nice jug actually. It's Sadler. And it's got a rosebud design with the sort of swirl molding on it. And some Sadler things can go for a fair amount of money. Um, so I always pick up Sadler teapots or jugs or whatever if I see them. This one, it's very middle of the road with pricing. I've listed it for £20. So I do have offers on it as well. So we'll see where we go with that. And then this item is really cool. It's one of my favourite things that I picked up and it is this poodle mug. It's made by a company called Blue Witch. And as you can see, the handle is the poodle's head itself. It's a bit awkward, to be honest, to hold and drink. Um, but you could, you, you could use it as a mug, you could use it for cold drinks. You could even use it for pens or makeup brushes or you know, anything like that. It doesn't have to be used as a mug. But these mugs are really quite collectible. Blue Witch do a variety of different designs with different animals, different dogs. And I've listed this for 25. So with every item today that I say, I've listed it for such and such, I always put best offer on all of my listings. So I'll stop boring you with saying that. So just take it as a given. Um, that's how much I've listed it for, but it does have best offer on as well. And then this was a lovely find. Willow pattern seems to be coming back on trend a bit. Um, I think it's the sort of blue and white that people are liking to buy at the moment in ceramics and that kind of farmhouse, country house look that's very on trend at the moment. So I found this Willow pattern teapot and it was very stained inside but I've given it a good clean with some cup cleaner and it's come up shining like a new pin and I just paid a pound for it, which was, yeah, absolute bargain. Um, then later on, on another stall, I found a sugar bowl in the willow pattern as well. So I decided to list them together, mostly because the sugar bowls don't fetch a huge amount of money. So I thought I'd bundle it with the teapot. I think I've listed this on eBay for £20 with postage, um, but I have increased the price a little bit on Etsy because obviously it's very heavy and I do free postage. And also they were, they were just fetching a bit more on Etsy, so I just upped the price a little bit. So we shall see where we go with that one. I'm hoping that that will go quite quickly because like I say, willow pattern is quite sought after at the moment. I spotted this on one stall. I was drawn to it because it's really beautiful. It was five pounds and the label said it was Stuart Crystal. I have confirmed that because there is a signature on the base which shows that it is Stuart Crystal and it is the Victoria pattern. 
Now, I did a very quick on the go search because obviously it was, it was five pounds. That was quite a lot to spend. And I wanted to see whether it was worth picking up um, because if, if it was only going to be 10, 15 pounds, it wasn't worth spending the five pounds on. Um, I did hope that it would go for more, but this particular design and this particular bowl, um, 20 to 30 generally, so I have listed it for 30. At the end of the day, when we go around yard sales, we always hang back a bit and just have a little drive around and see if any of the stores are still open, or sometimes people put boxes of stuff out for free because they just want to get rid of stuff. Um, so we were driving around at the end and we did find a box of stuff for free and we had a little rummage and I spotted this and on our live um, people helpfully told me that this is sugar frosted glass. It's mid-century, it's a little decanter and it came with two shot glasses. So I picked that up, I thought that was worth getting for free. I love the colours on it. So I just thought, you know, if it's worth nothing, then I'd be quite happy to display that and keep it, to be honest with you. Um, there is quite a bit of wear on the gold, on the gilding, sort of the gold trim there, as you can see, and also on the yellow glass. But doing a bit of research and seeing what was listed, what I'd sold, most of the glasses, to be honest, that had actually sold had, had wear on them. So I didn't feel so bad about that afterwards. And to be honest, it's 1960s. So if it's had some use and it's been washed, used again, then it's going to have wear, isn't it? Um, they're still really beautiful. I couldn't find one of these decanters anywhere on solds, um, none listed. So I figured maybe it was a bit of a rarity. So I've listed it for 20 pounds for the set. You know, give it a go. Um, I can always drop the price, can't I? So this isn't vintage, but I always pick up Disney mugs when I see them. And I spotted this box on a stall. It had a two pound sticker on it. And I looked inside and found this gorgeous Disney Store Tigger mug, brand new, never been used. It was obviously gifted, put in a cupboard. They didn't like it for some reason. Why would you not like a Disney Tigger mug? I don't know. But um, for two pounds, I was thrilled, thrilled to find that. It's gorgeous. Um, and in a box. Used Disney mugs generally fetch around the £10 mark, maybe a bit less depending on how common it is. Um, should get about 15 for this, so that's what I put it on at. This is something that Nick found for me. It had been raining on and off throughout the day, so some people had sort of retreated into their houses or their garages and this lady had a stall in her living room. <laughs> so I had Jeff with me couldn't go in. Um, so Nick went in and had a look around and he bought this out and he said, what do you think? Would you like this? It's got a mark on the bottom and it is Dijois. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it. D-I-G-O-I-N. It's French. <laughs> you wouldn't know from me murdering the, uh, the word, but anyway. <laughs> That's the make. It was only two pounds and I've listed it for 15. One of the houses that we got to were having an estate sale. They'd sadly recently lost their parents um, within a few weeks of one another, which you know sadly sometimes happens. And they were clearing the house. So um, they were lovely. We'd, we had quite a chat with them and they had things throughout the house in different rooms that they were pricing. And I spotted these. It's a set of four of these Luminarch Cavalier glasses. I've recently had and sold the dessert dishes, which are um, a bit squattier in shape and wider. Um, so 
when I spotted these, I thought I had that in mind. I've just sold some of those dessert dishes. So I picked up the, what they describe as wine glasses, but this would be a mouthful of wine for us in this day and age, wouldn't it? I mean, oh, well, our modern wine glasses are like four times the size. So although I've listed them as wine glasses, I've also described them as liqueur glasses because in modern times, we'd probably use them more for that sort of thing instead. Um, but yeah, as I say, I picked up a set of four and they don't go for a huge amount, but people do like them. They're mid-century. They do look lovely in glass cabinets and they do tend to sell but not for great amounts so if you see this sort of thing don't don't pay a huge amount for them i paid two pounds and i've listed the set for 15 so two pounds is probably the top end of what i would pay in order to get a decent profit once you've paid fees on the different platforms that you're selling on etc um, but yeah also I wanted to support the sale. So another thing that I found on a free stall was a set of these four Sunday dishes. Now these don't fetch a huge amount either. Um, I've listed them for 15. It's probably top end of what you'd get for a set of four. They are really very lovely things but they're not hugely valuable. Um, so I would never pay more than a, a pound or two for a set. But being as they were free, I picked them up because they are lovely. And yeah, they're the sort of thing that it's really nice to have your dessert, fruit, ice cream in, that kind of thing. So yeah, I couldn't leave them behind. One of the houses that we got to had lots of boxes outside their house um, with various different glasses, ceramics, household things that you could just rummage through and one box was full of glasses. These caught my eye to begin with. There's a set of four of these. Um, there were five actually, but one of them was broken. But a set of four is a nice round number, isn't it? Quite like that. Um, <laughs> so we picked up the four that weren't broken and not entirely sure. They're definitely mid-century. They're probably 60s, they might be 50s. What do you think? Would you say they were 50s or 60s? Not too sure. But I really love the design. It's very hard for you to see. I'll put it in front of my face, then you can see. There we go. Um, yeah, but a set of four tumblers like that um, mid-century should fetch around the £30 mark so that's where I'm aiming for with those and then I've got a set of these bird glasses they're all different so we've got that one and, and that one This lovely partridge. A snipe. A pheasant. And the common mallard. So took quite a lot of time to research these because I haven't seen a set like this listed at all. You see various ones with pheasants, various duck ones. I hadn't seen a set with different birds on every glass. I wasn't, printer's going now, <laughs> I wasn't too sure where to go. Um, but I kind of based it on how much this style of glass was going for and I've ended up listing them for 35 for the set. So I think that's about the right sort of mark for these. And then I almost left these behind. I did look at them and I lifted them up and they're very, very heavy. So I've got two vases in different designs. I'll show you this one first. 
Um, yeah, I kind of dismissed it at first because I thought, oh gosh, they're so heavy. But then the people on the stall shouted over and said a pound each. And I thought, oh, a pound, oh, I can't leave it behind now. <laughs> so, um, so I picked them up for a pound each. And I did kind of hope they might be Czechoslovakian. There was a slight pause where I had to go and help Nick carry parcels over to the post office. But anyway, <laughs> I was talking about vases and um, yes, so I ended up picking these up because I thought this might be Czech glass. Um, so I thought I'd take a chance on it. It turns out to be Italian, not Czech. And the designer is Fidenza Vetraria, or just Fidenza. Not sure if the Vetraria is part of the name or just the design, uh, but Fidenza definitely. And um, it's mid-century. So it was a win in that respect because I have listed it for 30 pounds. So quite happy that I picked it up in the end <laughs> because I nearly left it behind, but um, yeah. Italian, mid-century Italian glass. Very nice. The other one, on the other hand, which I'll show you in a second, is not, not quite as nice, not quite as good, but I'll show you anyway, is this one. I couldn't find very much when I did some research. I couldn't find anything that was identical to this, simply because of its design, the look of it, I would say it's mid-century. But as I say, I don't know its provenance, so I don't know if it's British made or if it's Italian like the other one. Um, couldn't find anything on it. So I just decided to list it for 25 with offers. And yeah, hopefully somebody else will recognize it or just like it. And then this is the last thing that I picked up for free. They were actually trying to get five pound for it, um, but it was in a free box at the end of the day. And it's an Art Deco glass lampshade with a chinoiserie design on it. It's rather nice. I need to do a little bit more research on it, but I'm thinking about the 25 to 30 mark, just going on other shades that were similar, that have sold already. I couldn't find anything with this design on it. Um, I found similar looking lampshades with various different designs, um, but nothing that looked like this. So yeah, as I say, more research is needed. This is one of my favorite things I picked up. It's just so 90s and I love the design on it. It is a Wittard tea, well, it's a tea set because I've got four cups and saucers, but I've got the Wittard teapot here in a sunflower design. And then four of these cups and saucers. And that's the design. It's all hand painted, as you can see. And I just love it. It's so bright and cheerful. As I say, screams 90s at you. It is Wittard of Chelsea. I couldn't find a set in this design that had sold or anything that was listed. Um, there was a teapot that had sold for 15 and there was um, a similar set in size and the look but in a different design that had sold for 20 of the teacups and saucers. So just going on that, I'm thinking it's got to be about 35 approximately. Um, I might go more because I really like it. Um, <laughs> I don't know yet. I've got to do a little bit more research and then I will decide. But I'm in love with it. It is beautiful. If I needed another teapot, I'd be very tempted to keep this. Okay, so lastly, there was a lady that had um, lots of linens in different boxes and um, I spotted this new in its packet vintage tablecloth and it doesn't look as if it's anything particularly special but it's round and round tablecloths seem to do really well so I picked it up because it was round 
because it was still unused in its packet and I would think just going on a, a quick search that I should be able to get about approximately £20 for it. So yeah, that was a nice little find. I can't remember what I paid, but I ended up doing a bundle because I bought some napkins as well. She had a tablecloth to match these and I'm sure she said they were damask. I didn't pick up the tablecloth because it wasn't in the best of conditions. It was very faded, it had been used a lot. Um, the, the napkins are in much better condition. So I really picked these up with a view to keeping them for myself. I do need some napkins, just regular ones. I've got Christmas ones, but I don't have anything if we have any one round. And there's a set of eight there, which is perfect for having family around. So yeah. I bought these for myself and I haven't really researched to see what they would sell for. Um, and I'm only taking her word for it that they are damask because the labels are very generic. This is what the label looks like. So yeah, that was something that I bought to keep. So that's the end of the haul. I've listed quite a bit of it. So if there's anything that you're interested in, then the links are below. Um, I'm also happy to do private sales as well. So if there's anything that you see, um, I'll do a bit of discount for a private sale. Just message me on Instagram. Um, some of it I still haven't photographed yet. And some of it, as I say, I still need to do a little bit of research on. One thing I didn't show you that I also picked up to keep for myself is this. Is this fun face vase? It's from Tiger. So, you know, it's nothing special, which is why I thought, you know, it's probably not worth reselling, but I really liked him. I was very taken by him. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna pick that up for myself. It's really fun. But other than that, I think my favourite thing that I found was the Wittard. Because like I say, so 90s. Really love it and just so cheerful. Just love the sunflower design on it. Let me know what you liked out of the haul. I really like this um, poodle mug as well. That's really good fun. So I shall say goodbye for now. Happy thrifting everyone. Take care. Bye.